In this video, I will walk you through how you can combine ChatGPT and Excel to make your work easier and become irreplaceable. I will show you hands-on examples that you can implement into your workflow right after watching this video. Let's get into it. Imagine you work for a supermarket in finance and your boss comes to you and want to know which product had a promotion that worked this year and which one didn't work. How are you going to do this analysis if you never made it? I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT for this, even if you don't have a ChatGPT enterprise contract. Because yes, I'm going to give you my trick on how to use data analysis without giving your data inside AI. Stay tuned because this trick, not a lot of people know it. So I'm going to give it to you. First, we have this file where we have our product, the revenue of last year, the revenue of current year, and the promotion of last year and promotion of this year. Let's select the header and copy the header and you will understand soon why. Now let's move to ChatGPT and let's explain ChatGPT the situation. I work for a supermarket in the finance team. My boss wants to know how the promotion was working this year. Help me calculate the best KPIs for this in my Excel file. Really important to explain that. Here are the headers of my Excel file. And you see, I just copy inside the header, but I don't give any confidential information. Giving the header of a file, there is nothing confidential. It doesn't know about my sales. It doesn't know about my promotion. So let's see how ChatGPT can help us. Okay, so we have here the different KPIs we can calculate. We have first the promotion effectiveness, which is quite good. We have the revenue growth rate. We have the promotion spending growth rate. We have the revenue promotion ratio and we have the incremental revenue per unit of promotion. So a lot of different KPIs. I'm actually quite curious with the last one because I think this is the most relevant. So I will ask how to do the KPI number five in my Excel file. Wow, so now I have even the formula. That's awesome. What I really like here is we go from the theory of explaining the KPI, where I can also challenge it, to have exactly here the formula. On top here, it shows you that we assume that the revenue last year is in column D, revenue current year is column E, etc. So you can check now if ChatGPT understood how your file works. So we're going to do a check to see if we can use this formula. I'm going side by side to verify. And revenue of last year, column D, yes. Revenue current year E, yes. Promotion last year F, yes. And promotion this year G, yes. So we can use the formula. Let's copy the code. Now I have the incremental revenue per unit of promotion. Awesome. So I'm just going to format and I can double click to apply this formula everywhere in my file. But you might ask yourself, what does it mean? Well, why should I answer you when I can ask ChatGPT to answer to you? So I can say, how can I explain this KPI to my boss and my colleagues? So you see, here is really the information for each additional dollar we put into the promotion, this is the additional revenue we'll get. And we have example. Quite good, right? And we have even proposition on how to present that to the boss. Now that we have this, I want to highlight which one are good, which one are bad. So I'm going to ask how to highlight the good ones from the bad ones in my Excel file. Here, it gives us the answer by saying that we can use conditional formatting. So first, we need to identify what is good or bad, and then we need to apply the conditional formatting. So how to add the conditional formatting? I just need to select my column, go home, and click conditional formatting. There is a lot of different possibilities. I can use greater than if we want, but just a tip for you, you can also use color scale just based on the value. You can show when something is good or not. So here, for example, we want to show 
that the bad ones are in red and the good ones are in blue. So we can see, for example, that Walnut was a really good use of our promotion, but just under Soda was not. So quite cool, right? But it is still a bit too complex because we have 50 references. It's really hard to present that to your boss. So how are you going to do? Let's ask again ChatGPT, which graph can I use to represent this KPI for my 50 SKUs? So we can use bar chart, okay, conditional column chart, scatter plot, heat map, or bubble chart. So here we can use maybe some of the graphs, and that's why I wanted to do this video as well, is to show you something you don't know. What I will recommend here based on my experience, and that's why experience is also really important, and you should practice to learn and try here to see which one is the best for you. But I will recommend to use this one. Let's see why. I'm going to ask how to do the scatter plot in my excel file so the data we know is already organized and here insert the scatter plot how to insert a scatter plot select the data go to insert chart scatter plot select the data insert and in chart we have here scatter plot wow Really good. Okay, so that's quite interesting. But here, when I click, I don't know which product is this one. So I'm going to ask, or can I see which point corresponds to which product? And you see how I'm using it like an assistant. So, okay, I have here the full detail. So click on the scatter plot. Okay, right click on any data point add data labels okay so we have here the data labels but it's not what we want yeah at this point excel will add numeric values okay but we don't really want that so format data labels and what we want is value from cells okay so we're going to remove first this and get value from cell and that's when we are able to select the name of the product let's check yes now we have our products and now uh, what i can ask is how to interpret this graph so we can see trends we can identify clusters and spot outliers so how to interpret this actually i like this explanation here what does it say if i take low promotional spending so more here because it means you see like this line is zero dollar spending 600 dollar spending so we, we spend a lot of plot for the meat the y-axis is how much revenue we generated by unit of promotion so what does that mean is basically walnuts is really well performing we didn't spend a lot of money but generated a lot of promotion chicken was really bad actually and generally meat i think we spend too much money on promotion one thing i want to check is per category i just want to analyze the meat so what I can do as well is move the table here under and I want to analyze just for example the meat section. So I will select meat and now you see that I have my graph just based on meat. So like this actually beef was quite well performing but chicken not. Imagine going to your boss and you can answer to all of the questions that we almost didn't spend more than five to ten minutes and we have a super tool that can analyze how much revenue you did based on your promotion and help your management for the future to improve the way you spend money on promotion to increase revenue so this is how you use ChatGPT with excel if you want to do data analysis and financial analysis and to go from identifying kpis based on your data but without giving data then having the right formula to calculate it because you saw that is quite a complicated kpi but here I got the help of ChatGPT to generate this KPI and understand it. Then I did the formula. Thanks to conditional formatting, we could identify the outliers. And finally, we have a tool with a graph that is even dynamic, where we can generate a visual analysis of your data. Amazing, right? I'm sure if you go now to your boss, you will be amazed and you will be asked more and more interesting analysis and certainly get a promotion in the future. So this is exactly how you can 10x your Excel skills as a finance pro using ChatGPT. Now, apart from using it for Excel, there are a lot of other ways that AI 
can help you save time and improve the quality of your work. So if you are working in corporate finance, I created a free five day email course covering everything you need to know to get the maximum out of AI and not get left behind. Just click the first link in the description to get access to this free five day email course. And if you want to learn more about how AI is transferring finance, then check out this video. I will see you there.